everybody today. Hi Elizabeth, hi Michael, hi Cody. It's good to see you all here this morning, the second Sunday of Advent. Hey everybody, to use the greeting of a furry friend of mine, you all look marvelous this morning. Simply marvelous. <laughs> all right. You are happy this morning, Michael. Well, of course. Hey, 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 where are the monkeys? People say we monkey around, but I'm too busy singing to get anybody down. Huh? Oh, I'm um, sorry. I was just thinking about that Christmas I got invited to sing at the stage with the monkeys. The monkeys? Yeah. As in taking the last train to Clarksville and I'll meet you at the station? No way. Not those monkeys. Not the monkeys that wore flowered bell-bottom pants. I'm talking about the San Diego Zoo monkeys, where I used to work. They ate flowers and bell-bottom plants. For some reason, the people at the zoo thought it would be cool to have the monkeys put on a kind of animal Christmas pageant every year. They first tried it with mixed species one year, lions and tigers and penguins and stuff, but some of them got eaten. So after that, they decided to stick to the monkeys. And the year that I was the monkey's cage cleaner, I was invited to sing, since the monkeys already knew me, and they always had one human-type person involved. Wait a minute. Did these monkeys actually act out the Christmas story? Were they trained or something? Don't be ridiculous. These were monkeys, but the zookeepers did set up a little stable with a wooden oxen and lambs, and the monkeys would play, then play on them. Why? That's what monkeys do. I mean, why the major scene with monkeys? It seems weird. Well, I don't know, but you couldn't really do it with penguins. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody, nobody that's ever heard you sing, that is, would ever invite you to sing in their pageant on purpose. The monkeys did, or at least their keepers. What monkeys? The howler monkeys. <laughs> 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 guys. In the jungle, you can hear howler monkeys howl from miles away. And at the zoo, you can hear them halfway to Pennsylvania. Oh, I see. I guess anyone would sound like Pavarotti compared to that. Ooh. So what did you say? Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. <laughs> People say we monkey around. But we're too busy playing to let anybody down. No, nope, I was a stable boy. A singing stable boy. And that said, I always had one human in it just to keep an eye on everything. And I think the monkeys really liked it. Liked me, because I was uh, the one sleeping up at night, the littlest one out there, really high-pitched howl. I nearly dropped my broom, and then all the howlers suddenly joined in, including the whole heavenly host of them, including the ones singing from the rafters above the manger. And that's when I had my solo. Solo? Yeah, it was great. As if on cue, the monkeys suddenly all stopped howling, and just my voice was left there in the cage. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heaven. But outside the lighted cage, outside there in the dark, suddenly another voice joined in. And from the spectator who happened to be watching, there was a mother holding a newborn baby. And then the people around her, suddenly they all joined in, singing together, smiling at her baby. Silent
interesting Christmas story. <laughs> and even more, thank you, God, for sending your son, the baby Jesus, to us for comfort and joy. Amen. 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 And now, now, this is, is going, going to be a great, great Christmas season of what? <laughs>